Zookeep has reported a polar bear and penguin missing last night. You need a scientist to make you a video about climate? Let's start with weather. Weather is just what's happening outside over the short term. Hot, cold, sunny, or snowing, it's all weather. Climate is the average weather over long periods of time, say 30 years. Day to day, weather is highly variable and often hard to predict. But if we look at the weather over long periods of time, we start to see patterns or trends. For example, temperature might increase from year to year. Those patterns are climate. The relationship between weather and climate is also a lot like walking a dog. Fred here volunteered to be our dog for the day. As I walk in one direction, Fred runs up and down seemingly at random. But despite his wanderings, Fred still moves in the same direction I do. Fred is like the weather, always changing. And I'm like the climate, or the long-term trend in the weather. Earth's climate has changed many times over its history. Many factors control climate, including the sun, Earth's orbit around the sun, volcanic activity, and the greenhouse effect. The greenhouse effect is a natural process that drives Earth's temperature. The Earth is covered in a blanket of air called the atmosphere. Sunlight passes through the atmosphere and warms the Earth, which gives off heat. Greenhouse gases in the atmosphere like carbon dioxide trap this heat, causing the Earth to warm. Earth's climate is once again changing, and humans are the cause. The evidence is overwhelming, and nearly every climate scientist on the planet agrees. Even the United States military considers climate change an immediate threat to national security. Since the late 1700s, humans have been burning fossil fuels like coal, oil, and gasoline on a global scale. The burning of fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, a known greenhouse gas that warms the planet. For nearly a million years, carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere went up and down as part of natural cycles. But since the Industrial Revolution, carbon dioxide levels have jumped to heights unseen on Earth in at least 800,000 years. And the planet is heating up. Global temperatures have risen 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit since the Industrial Revolution. Do you see the long-term trend? If you're around 11 years old, Eight of the ten hottest years on record happen after you were born. Extreme weather events are on the rise. Land ice is melting across the globe. Arctic sea ice is shrinking. And the oceans are rising. Global sea level has already risen eight inches. And the oceans will rise another one to four feet by the year 2100. Many of the world's greatest cities are on the coasts. In the U.S., cities like New York and Miami are at risk, along with countless others around the globe. Climate change is even altering the chemistry of the oceans. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere mixes with the oceans with surprising consequences. So here's our ocean. Sophia added a special dye that changes color depending on if the solution is acidic like lemon juice, basic like bleach, or neutral like pure water. Now watch what happens when we bubble in carbon dioxide. Do you need help? Okay, we're good. Check it out. The water is changing color and is becoming more acidic. When carbon dioxide mixes with water, it creates carbonic acid. So as carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere increase, the oceans become more acidic. This is a big problem for animals like corals and clams because it weakens or damages their shells. As Earth's climate changes, many plants and animals might disappear forever. Polar bears live in the Arctic hunting seals on sea ice. If there's no ice though, polar bears go hungry. As the Earth warms, Arctic sea ice is disappearing. Here's the ice in 1979 and again in 2016. This is what a starving polar bear looks like. If the Earth continues to warm, thousands of polar bears will starve to death by the middle of this century, and the long-term survival of the species is uncertain. Unfortunately, climate change will intensify over the coming decades. To avoid the worst effects of climate change, we need to limit warming to 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit over this century. I know all of this sounds scary, it worries me too, but I'm still hopeful for the future. Throughout history, humanity has often reached beyond what we thought was possible. We built monumental structures, launched brave men and women into space, walked on the surface of the moon, and wiped out deadly diseases using vaccines. We can still fix this. The first step in solving any problem is learning about it. Now you know what climate is and why it's so important. Share what you've learned with your friends and family. The next question is, what should we do about it? It's your future, so make sure you help to answer that one. Thanks for watching.